If you're thinking of planning your future destination wedding during COVID, there are many things to think about. You should know that things are changing day by day, and now more than ever, it is more important that you have a professional travel agent working with you to identify the correct resorts and destinations and stay on top of what's happening. Hi, I'm Jack with Vacationees, and we've been helping people plan vacations since 1978. I do videos every Tuesday, so feel free to subscribe right here, ring the bell so you'll get notifications of the new videos. The first thing I think you really have to look at is your guest. Know who you're inviting. So what I would suggest to you is put your guest list in Excel and then really evaluate who it is. See if you have a lot of older people because those people may be concerned even if there is a vaccine that they may not want to travel for a period of time. You also may want to look at people that work in healthcare. What we're finding is for our weddings and even people just taking vacation. A lot of people that are first responders or in the military or in healthcare are not allowed to travel out of the country currently or if their jobs will allow them, they're basically saying to them, if you come back, plan on quarantining for 14 days before you come back to work. So as a client said to me, well, I'd love to attend my friend's wedding. I'm gonna lose two weeks of pay if I have to take the time off for the quarantine. So I think it's very important as you plan your wedding, you look at who you're inviting so you can really have an idea of what the guest list is gonna be. I think the further out you plan into 21 and into 22 as the vaccine becomes available, the higher the likelihood, the more people on your list will attend and you'll have more people to enjoy your wedding with. My number two hint is to really look at the destinations you're thinking about hosting your wedding at. I'm recording this in the middle of November and right now many destinations are open, but within the destinations, many of the resorts aren't open. And some of the destinations are requiring positive or negative tests before you come, or once you get in, they want you to quarantine or take a test when you get there. Some locations or destinations are requiring you purchase a travel insurance policy upon arrival so that they don't get stuck with your hospital bills if anything happens. So I think it's very important that as you work with your travel professional, you look at which destinations are open now and what the plans are looking for the future. Again, the further you plan into the future of 21 and 22, I think this becomes less of an issue, but I would say that if you're planning a wedding in say January through July of 2021, this would be a very important thing to look at because I don't think you wanna plan a wedding in a location that is not open yet and take a chance that as they slowly open, the requirements are very stringent because it may reduce the number of your guests that will come. When you work with your travel professional, we as professionals are on top of this. We receive information daily from departments of tourism at the islands and destinations of various countries we work with. So I think it's again very important that you look at where you want to host in terms of the destination to better understand what the requirements would be to travel during COVID if COVID is still an issue into 2021 and 2022. My third hint is to look at the airlines. One of the things we're seeing right now is that the airlines are flying have low prices compared to a year or two years ago. But the other thing we're seeing is they have limited flights. So the flights are full. We just got back from Mexico about two weeks ago and the flights were full. So if you're worried about open middle seats and things like that, I think going into 2021, there are gonna be no more blocked middle seats. Most of the airlines aren't doing it right now. So as you look, one thing we've seen is as an example, out of Philadelphia, we used to have three to five nonstop flights to Cancun. Today, we may have one. And as things calm down with COVID into the future, I think the airlines are gonna put more flights in. But as those flights fill up, the fares will go back up. So again, it's a catch-22. Do you book a cheap fare today on a flight that may have a stop someplace, and then in the future a non-stop comes in and you have the option of changing over to the new flight, but it may be at a higher fare. So I think you really need to look at where you live, what airlines are flying now, and historically talk with your travel professional to learn what flights were flying in the past, so as more people start traveling, those flights will come back. Also, I would be concerned about some of the airlines that were charter airlines or airlines you may not have heard of that in the past were flying, but in the future may not be in business. 
So I think it's very important that you pay attention to airlines and also what documentation the airlines will require. Some of the airlines now in November are talking about doing COVID testing when you get to the airport. Again, the further you go into 2021 and 22, I don't think that's going to be an issue. But early in 2021, it may be a good thing that if we're going to offer you a COVID test, some of the resorts and destinations may require it or the airlines may require it. Know that the airlines today are requiring that you put on a mask prior to flying, during the flight, the full flight, other than maybe when you're eating and talking about eating. Some of the airlines are not providing anything, maybe water, but that's about it. Even in first class, they may give you a bag lunch. So we'll look at the airlines and determine whether or not there are flights where you want to fly from, how frequent they are, what the connections are, because that can help you pick a destination today for the future. But just know that will be changing likely in the future as things kind of get better. My fourth tip would be know the resorts. And this is, again, why I think it's very important that you work with a travel professional. Many of us have traveled to many of these locations already. We're checking out the resorts. We see what their protocol is. The problem that we've had is that resorts say they're opening, they give us a date, and then they don't open. So that we're moving things around. So the last thing we're going to do is suggest that you host a wedding at a resort that we do not feel comfortable that'll be open. So if you're talking to a travel professional and you suggest a resort and they say no, I would really go with their advice because they may know something that you don't know. Many of the resorts, if you look at their websites in the past four months, have constantly changed what's happening. The other thing is once we find a resort for you that we know you're gonna love, the issue is what are the protocol that are taking place? Again, I just got back, stayed at several hotels. We're finding that the staff are in PPE, they're doing check-ins, they're doing changing in menus, QR codes for menus. So the good resorts have implemented amazing programs to keep you safe. It's up to you once you get there to decide if you're going to keep yourself safe as well in terms of wearing masks and social distancing. Um, some of the resorts that we found that have done an amazing job, and I'll just throw some names out to you, Palace Resorts, Hard Rock, Secrets, Dreams, Zoetry, Royalton, Sandals, Beaches. Those brands from what we've seen visiting or talking to people that have visited are doing a great job in providing protection for you while you're there, putting protocol in place for safety, and hosting amazing destination weddings. Again, the further you look out into 2021 and 22, I think some of these protocol will stay in place. As more people get vaccinated and the virus decreases, I think we'll see the restrictions go down. But I think it's very important that you work with your travel professional to pick a good resort versus one that may not be open. Our position is if a resort is not open today, we are not going to book your wedding there. We are very concerned that we will see resorts that will not open in the future. We've seen this in the past. If you give a resort, while they may have a sales team working, but if you give them a deposit today and they don't open in the future, there's a high likelihood, A, you're not going to have a wedding, and B, we're not going to get that deposit back. So it's important, I think, that we know that these resorts are up and functioning and we have confidence in the wedding team as well as the protocol they've put in place so that you and your guests can have an amazing destination wedding. My last tip is to look at travel insurance. So we as vacationees will offer travel insurance to everybody that takes a trip with us, whether it's your vacation, your cruise, a Disney trip, a destination wedding, it's just something over the years we have always offered and suggest. Why? Because things happen. Now the key is making sure that the policy you have has what's called CFAR, cancel for any reason. Because historically travel insurance policies, the inexpensive policies, are for medical reasons only. So you may say, I have travel insurance, I don't want to go to the wedding, or I don't want to have my wedding, and I want to cancel. The problem is most of the policies will say in them that it's medical. So you have to have a positive COVID or someone in your family that you can cancel. If you get a CFAR policy, which is what we offer to every client, if you wake up the morning of your wedding, or as a guest you wake up the morning of a wedding or a trip and decide you just don't feel comfortable going, you can cancel and get your money back through the CFAR. It's a little bit more expensive. The rates are typically based upon your age, the state you live in, and the cost of your trip. It can vary, but you have to make sure when you're working with your travel professional, 
ask them if they can offer you a cancel for any reason insurance protection or policy for your guests that attend your wedding so that if they don't feel comfortable and the resort is still open and you're going that your guests still have a way to get their money back. So as you can see, there are many things I think you have to take into account as planning a destination wedding for 2021 or 22 with COVID happening right now. It's important again that you find a travel professional that has experience, that has visited some of these resorts, is in touch with them and knows what's happening. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment, contact me. Again, I post new videos every Tuesday and we hopefully look forward to helping you plan your destination wedding.